I am under pressure to leave Nigeria, says Peter Obi. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, at the just concluded presidential election, Peter Obi has claimed that he is under pressure to leave Nigeria. Obi, in a statement on Wednesday night, slams the ruling all Progressive Congress APC and some government agencies, accusing them of propaganda. The former Anambra State Governor also ins insisted the viral audio of him and Bishop David Oedepo of the Witness Chapel is fake. The present attempt by the APC as a party and the APC-led government through some government officials and agencies to divert our attention from our blatantly stolen mandate is unfortunate and sad. These have come and continued to manifest in different ways, such as the malicious accusation of the Minister of Information, Mr. Lai Mohammed, the circulation of a fake doctored audio call, and a pressure on me to leave the country. Let me reiterate that the audio call being circulated is fake. And at no time throughout the campaign, and now did I ever say, think, or even imply that the 2023 election is or was a religious war, will be said. Those have come and continue to manifest in different ways, such as the malicious accusation of the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed. So let's take some people's comments on what Peter Obi said that is under pressure to leave the country. Someone said, stop disturbing yourself. The president has already been elected. Another said, I don't know why everything about this man, Lai Mohammed, are lies. They should leave Peter Obi alone. Why are they fighting him? Anyway, they can't do anything to him because he's the chosen one. Another person said, thank God Obi disgraced them in the election and heaven and earth witnessed it. Another said, my president, Peter Obi, didn't say so. Another said, this is impunity against Obi. With this false audio now, one is still held accountable. APC and the government of the day are not fair at all. Suppose is PMB, they, would, they will fish out the ghosts involved. They should allow Obi to focus at the election tribunal and let justice reign. Another said, I don't agree with him that the audio is fake. The man that exposed the audio has been suspended in his office. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. He has lost the election. Let him prepare against another one. All this, his attitude will continue to spoil his name and integrity. Another person said, um, Presid President Obi remains focused and resolute. Okay, as you don't mind, liar liar Mohammed. Another said, God Almighty, who knows the desires of the citizens of Nigeria, will strengthen you, sir. Do not be afraid. God is with you. Another said, um, My good people of Nigeria, you know the proverb in Yoruba land, when someone has three dogs at the entrance, his house and a mosque, and make attempt to go into the house, premises our elder says if all the dogs fail to shout at least one of the three dogs will um bark or bite and that is what happened on this recent politics in nigeria so they should allow obi and his supporters to continue shouting till, the, till they are tired another commenter said um please i found out that some some people are not serious about making this country get great again. Another said, You must not run, Peter Obi. You must finish the war you started. Another said, No amount of pressure from the failed political class can make you leave Nigeria. You are not into this by yourself, but by the mandate given to you by Nigerian youth and people. So no effort by the few but powerful and disgruntled fading and scared political class can make you abandon your mandates. Another said, Peter Obi, please do not go anywhere. Another said, as for me, Peter Obi and Labour Party have done greatly well. They successfully shook the APC 
and the ruling class to their foundation and still shaking them further. Obi is a channel. The idea has come and won't die easily. This country cannot continue in this trajectory unless God's hands is not in it. Pharaoh thought his powerful teeth was lodged in the Red Sea. Another said, go and rest my brother. Demonic people don't hold Nigeria. Leave the battle for the Lord. Those supporting evil will be the ones to suffer under the demonic administration. When they support injustice, they will get their own share. Mm. Another person said, yes, daddy, you better leave this country for us because we don't even need you already. And also your mandate, self. You came third place and you're making noise. Is that making sense, daddy? But sir, yes, daddy, don't forget to take your supporters too. But you can't do that. I know because you will leave them to be fighting for you. And if they die, nothing concern you. Only if your supporters know you. Another said, we, we beg you not to run. We are behind you to retrieve your mandate. Another said, my daddy said his mandate was stolen. Was it in Sokoto, Gombe? Yobe, Kano, Zamfara, Bauchi, Borno, Adamawa, Kasina, or your Ekiti? Undo and many other states will be is truly not serious. Another said, that foolish man called Lai Lai is psychophant of this government and an opportunist. This time will never be like before. Let them act something stupid on you and they will watch and see. Another said, Peter Obi, you are, you are the best of the best. Please keep being yourself. We Nigerian youths are solidly behind you. Another said, if it involves stress to life, kindly live for God. For God wants you to be alive to do many more things for his glory. Nigerian politicians have destroyed this country and continue to do so. Please don't die for Nigeria. For now, for even ones are in charge. Hmm. So, another person said, God Almighty is with you and the youth of this nation, Nigeria, are behind you. Whose God wants to use is you and we just hope that you will not give up. Another said, Peter will be the God in you is greater than the God in them. So, these are a few comments that we could take right now and trust me, the comments are just you know increasing by the moment and why some people are saying okay if you're really under pressure to leave nigeria and it has to do with your mental health your physical health or threat to life then you should take off without looking back well something that you should wait and slug it out so what's your opinion on this kindly drop your comments in the comment section below thank you so much for watching do remember to like share and subscribe to our channel to our new subscribers thank you so much for joining and to our existing subscribers, thank you for always stopping by. We'll see you in the next news. Have a lovely day. God bless Nigeria. Bye for now.